All right, here we are, NAM 2014. We have stopped by the Elisis Newmark M Audio Alto Akai booth. <laughs> They're a lot all of brands. The same company right now, uh, but uh, we've been hearing some stuff that we wanted to talk here with Nate Lane uh, from Elisis about, and we're going to start uh, with their new controller keyboards here. All right, thanks a lot for stopping by, guys. I want to show you two new lines of keyboard controllers that we are unveiling at NAM this year. So. You may be familiar in the past with our Q and QX series controllers. Uh, we are launching the V series and the VI series. And I'm going to go through the V series first and give you kind of a rundown. And then I'll tell you about the differences with VI. Uh, so V series was really, the goal was to have full size keys and put it into the most modular footprint that we could. Beyond that, we wanted to incorporate, for both of these, key, these keyboard lines, we wanted to put the pads on the left side of the keys. This is a brand new workflow, and we think it's going to really bring out some really cool performance aspects for so using I your... My, I can play my beat and my lead. Yeah, you got it. You got it. And it might be challenging at first, but it could be some really cool, you know, really cool performances. So on the V-Series, you have eight pads. You have four assignable buttons. You have octave up and down pitch and mod wheel and four assignable knobs. So let's talk about workflow with those. If you're in the studio or on stage, you're probably using some sort of a keyboard plug-in or a virtual instrument. This is really driven to cut to the chase of what we need for performing as an instrument in a self-contained unit. So really nice synth action key bed, square front keys, no aftertouch on this one, but it's meant to be simple and straightforward. It's USB bus powered and has a sustained pedal input. And that's basically the story on Vs. It's cut and dry, and, uh, and it's exactly what it should be for that instrument style performance. So let's talk about VI, because there's a lot more to talk about here. So of course, the obvious difference is that you have 16 pads on the left side of the key bed, and they are RGB pads, so three color LEDs under each pad. You also have, let's talk about the key bed, another big difference. This is a true semi-weighted key bed with aftertouch. So it's a great feeling key bed. And it was important to us that we brought out a semi-weighted key bed at this lower price point. It's never been done at this price point before. Now, also, this, let's talk about this top section here. And we wanted to address two different workflows with this top section. So think about using this in the studio as a DAW controller when you're mixing and recording. You could be assigning the, you know, think about channel strips. You could be assigning the knob to pan, EQ, channel volume, whatever you choose, and then your buttons could be mute, solo, record enable, whatever you'd like them to be. But you could line up your channels totally across this top section here. Also, the other way to use this workflow would be a more modern clip trigger workflow, like working in Ableton. So these could be triggering clips, just like you would with something like an APC. And your knobs could then be controlling your session volume. They could be controlling effects parameters. You could even assign effects on and off to some more of these buttons over here. Lay it out however you want to. But we're going to make sure right out of the box, both of these keyboards have maps for the most popular software. And we have a software utility for preset and parameter setup right out of the box. So are the knobs continuous or? No, the knobs are just 0 to 100 knobs, exactly, or 0 to 127, of course, because we're talking about MIDI. So, uh, also, VI series, another thing I want to talk about is we put an internal time clock on VI series. So we have transport controls, octave up and down, preset up and down, but back to that internal time clock, we can do tap tempo and we can do roll mode. So anyone who's familiar with drum pad controllers might know what roll mode is. So roll mode is engaged, VI will then know that these, these lower left eight buttons are now your time division controls. So as you're performing with your drum pad, you now have time division across these eight buttons to, to do build-ups into drops or to do kind of trap-style music production, whatever you want to do, but that's part of the VI series. So these are our new two lines. What, what's, the, what's the street, or do you have a street on these yet? Yeah, let me go through both of them. So let's start with the V series. We talked about those first. The V25 is 79 US. The V49 that we're looking at right here is 99 US. And the V61, the big guy back here, is 149 US. Wow. So VI series. VI25 is 169 with that semi-weighted key bed we talked about with aftertouch, 16 pads. VI49 is 199 US. And then the VI61 is 249 US. We're doing really aggressive pricing. We're doing killer features. 
you know, the, like I said, semi-weighted, aftertouch, 16 pads, RGB at those prices. We're really excited. When are you guys going to put out an 88 key, key uh, controller? You know, the wheels are turning. Good. Just be patient. Let's see that. We need an 88 key. There's only like a few choices that aren't astronomical. Okay. So Stand by. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Uh, NAV 2014, we're going to be back probably. We may see us again.